guys, I said this in the beginning of the year. Cam Thomas was the most natural, the best natural scorer in the entire draft. Like, he's just as good as a scorer as Jalen Green, okay? And the only knock on his game was defense. And it took, you know, a few weeks for him to finally start to see NBA minutes. And since they have given him NBA minutes, whoo, this man's been good. Let's give him a little, you know, nature boy, Ric Flair. Woo, woo, woo. Okay, I want to hear your comments down below. Do you guys agree with me? Cam Thomas is the sixth man that they needed. Okay, with Cam Thomas being able to ball out and be a sixth man scorer to have a Jordan Clarkson-esque green light at all times, this allows LaMarcus Aldridge to move back into the starting lineup. They didn't play Blake Griffin tonight, but I think LaMarcus Aldridge has been coming off the bench because they needed a guy who could be an actual scorer off the bench, especially that Patty Mills has been in the starting lineup with Joe Harris being out, okay? And I could really see, and so Bembry also being in the starting lineup with Joe Harris being out because, you know, if I personally think if Joe Harris was here, it would be Patty Mills, James Harden, Joe Harris, Kevin Durant, and LaMarcus Aldridge, okay? LaMarcus Aldridge gives them the perfect modern day center to be starting next to Kevin Durant at power forward, you know, when Joe Harris comes back at small forward, James Harden at shooting guard and Patty Mills at point guard because we're assuming Kyrie's not coming back and this allows Blake Griffin to be the glue guy off the bench high energy just do his thing off the bench and not feel like he has to always be on the floor Cam Thomas comes in I know he was 0 for 6 for tonight from 3 but this is a guy I know he's actually you know the last few games what's been impressive about my man Cam Thomas is his ability just to turn it on in a second in a flash okay and that's the most impressive part because if you look at cam thomas tonight he was shooting high efficient shots in my opinion okay he only took two made mid-range jumpers okay but besides that he basically either got a layup when he got assisted from deandre bembry or he got another running like floater which was awesome and i know he missed the loads of shots but the shots that he missed he missed six three-pointers which i will never ever get mad at anyone taking a three-point shot okay never get mad at that and then the other two shots he missed were you know one was blocked by jason tatum when he was doing kind of uh off kind of like a mid-range off the right side and then he missed another you know shot right there so when you saw that you were just like okay cam thomas he's starting to figure out where he's hot i like that floater that he has i like his ability you know to get in to run the court on transition and cam thomas is the guy that this team needs and what's been impressive is the last what two games if you want to say he's been playing good basketball okay cam thomas has finally been unleashed and it's great it's great because against the Cavaliers he dropped 11 points two for three so if you like combine tonight's game and last night I mean the guy's averaging like 12 points a night for them off the bench off of you know 15 minutes really so when you have a guy I mean 25 and then he had 11 the 15 the other game so that's 35 so really yeah he's playing about 20 minutes a night 12 points a game and he's what two for nine from three you know 18 I don't know if it's 18, but, oh, what is it? Eight for 18 from the field. So I think he's showing that like, wow, he's actually really freaking good. And he's the guy that they need, okay? Because the rest of the guys off the bench are defensive guys. Besides Kessler Edwards, who's a great three-point shooter. Javon Carter is a three and D God from West Virginia. Paul Millsap's a little bit old and all he'll give you some, you know, floor spacing. He'll get a, the occasional block. He'll give rebounds and play decent interior defense. James Johnson's another glue guy. He's kind of like a Blake Griffin and, you know, who can do a little jack of all trades. Honestly, I think James Johnson at this point in the career is better than Blake Griffin. Deron Sharp is playing now with Nick Claxton out of the picture. So Cam Thomas is right now in the perfect position to, you know, what I believe be the sixth man and maybe be one of the only rookies in NBA history to potentially win it. I, I, I mean, I don't think he's going to win it, but I do think he could get some strong consideration and be an actual, like maybe a candidate, like top five in six man of the year. I think this guy will take over. Like 
I know he isn't as strong as ball handler as Jamal Murray or Lou Will, but I could see him following the same vein as Jamal Murray, Lou Will, Jordan Clarkson being a six man of the year candidate perennially. So I want to hear your thoughts down below. That's it for me today, guys. Puppies out.